And what is up, my geeks? My name is Joey Ryder. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Geometry Dash profile. Now, making a profile is hard, but I have a solution and how you could do it the easiest way. Do you have a profile something like this, but you want to turn it something like this? All you have to do is just follow my steps and you'll be able to be fine. So there, there are some things that, for example, applications that you might have to install and other things such as, you know, um, fonts and all that to be able to do your own profile. And I'll be doing that right now. Okay, now that I'm on my device, uh, there's some applications that you might be able to install and some of them are not. But for example, um, Paragon Eraser, which is this one, and Pixel App, um, uh, another one. This is, can be found on the Play Store. But the Pixel App is a modded version because it has like a bunch of fun. And I'll be leaving a link in the description for the modded version. PS Touch, um, you cannot find this on the Play Store, but you have to do this on on, on the internet, um, Chrome. I'll be leaving a link in the description. Um, if you guys want to want to use it and for editing as well, um, Pixel App um, is one of the things I use for my thumbnails. It, it's just like a fun. This is a fun editor, and you know, like an editor for for um, for the for for photos. But we're gonna be starting. How do you can create your own profile? We're gonna be using um, background eraser first. Okay, now that my now that I'm in background eraser, we're gonna we're gonna click this this button over there um the load load a photo allow let's look allow always leave allow um we're gonna be using the these two images i took screens as well of them just for for testing all that so yeah we're gonna we're gonna use um this one for example and try to do an angle like this because we need to zoom in, you know we need to have to we have to do this you know and able to do a lot of editing with this so I'll be using uh, magic you know it'll be a lot easier to do this so yeah you know how it's not um, like erasing the, the black icon if you guys can see it properly there's also one for you know just in case it'll, it'll make things a lot easier with this one so yeah okay now that I erase everything uh, another thing that I forgot to tell you is this little auto thing now what it does is that it makes it a lot easier you know to well yeah a lot easier for example if i do this this is what happens from so any race every race that color but it will leave like this little um, messy thing you see like the purple thing is it's like still there but yeah uh we're gonna be clicking on done and this one is for you know the smooth you know how the edges are like this so yeah we're gonna leave it like that one click save and then um, we're gonna be clicking finish and I'll be doing the one next for the ship Okay, now that I got that done, we're going to be using, um, next would be Pixlab to create your own font. So, let's dive in. Okay, now that we're at Pixlab, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own fonts. It's like the easiest application to create your own fonts, like the, the, the best application. Okay, now, in this one, it's really complicated because, you know, when you click here, it's really, you know, you're like... I don't know what I'm doing or you know I'll want to I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for this one someday but I'm gonna be showing you how where you can how you you can create your own fonts in there so this is actually the most complicated thing again like I said um, it when I first tried it it was really hard for me so I actually had trouble so yeah I had to do tutorials with it okay now this is a grid you know 
you know, every time you're having trouble with, you know, where you have to stick, there's a magnet here. And here you can place it wherever you want. And this is just for editing for Mac for you know you know for for fonts and everything. I'll be doing that in the video someday. Okay, we're gonna be doing our own font. Now normally I don't use any of these fonts. For example here we go there. There's like this is the modded version, so yeah. There's a lot of fonts with these, so I normally use these and some of them I don't because I use them on a website. You click my fonts and there's the your files of where you can use them and reason would be the, the ones you used um, earlier so for example I want to choose this um, font I don't know where it is okay I'm gonna have to find it uh, where is it this one road rage I'm gonna be using road rage for example for right now now I use this um, font on my thumbnails which is this one right, let me see uh, this one, I don't know how to pronounce it, font, I guess. Well, we're gonna be clicking, um, this, no, sorry, sorry, got a little messed up. We're gonna be clicking on stroke in, the little, in this little A area. Stroke, enable, no, I'm sorry, not this, enable, we're gonna be clicking. Now, you can actually change the colors of them. Gradient would be like the mixture of, you know, you could actually change the positions and, you know these as well so yeah so we're not gonna be doing that I'm just gonna be changing just not changing but you know doing a little editing I put the stroke mostly or border whatever you want to call it I put it on 10 always on 10 but yeah and here we click the little pencil with it just click let's click it let's write um a, a random that something like that I guess I was doing that in the in earlier thing, so yeah. Let's he let's put it like this. Let's like that. Sorry, it's a little laggy. I don't know why it's, why it's so laggy. There's also effects, you know, emboss like the metal thing. 3D would be, you know, you know how it's even 3D. You could actually move, but it gets kind of laggy. Shadow would be practically, you know, the bottom of it. You can actually do some editing a lot with this. Reflection will be like the mirror thing and all that, but I'm not going to be showing you that. And shadow, practically, what else? You know, everything that sees, it shows you what it looks like. So, yeah. Now, we're going to be clicking here. No, I'm sorry. I got a little bit messed up, so that's right. This would be, this would be like, you change it, the background, but I will lose every, but I will lose everything if you erase it. I'm going to click transparent. And then, now that we got everything done, we're gonna be clicking here and save. Save as image, not a project, but you know, PNG, PNG and you know, JPN, no transparency. Okay, now we're gonna be clicking on dimensions. Now, I was about to say that, now, in, no, in most of my videos and my thumbnails, I mostly have it in high, you know, when I'm doing a lot of things. Ultra, you know, to see like an AC quality, but I'm gonna click it on very high. Save to gallery. And there we go. We have our own little um, font here, and it's saving your gallery. So now that we have that done, we're going back to the Photoshop. All right. Now that we have that done, we're going now to PS Touch. Okay. Now that we got P um, Photoshop Touch, um, we're gonna click Accept. Um, begin a project. Now. For this to have a, a profile, you must have like a high quality because if you have it a uh, low quality, it's not gonna work that much. So for example, let's click add, for example, just, you know, it's a little square shape and you know how it's a really high quality, so yeah. Okay, now that we have that here, if you don't want that, you could actually delete it, but so yeah. We're gonna be clicking here, this little image here. So yeah, find a folder that says download, for example. I'm gonna be using this, uh, this little frame here is one of the, the one I'm be using. So yeah, there's a lot of frames you could actually find on Google. So I'll be using this one, for example. So yeah, you might have to give it like a real, like a, like a perfect angle in order to see this. 
Okay. Okay. Now that I'm gonna now that I fixed it, um, there's an easy way to remove an image. Like for example, there's no the little another image that was on the back. So all you have to do is you know these little trash cans, but I can because I only have one image here. So now that I'm um, here. I'm gonna be using, um, you know, take this, put the screenshot of the icon. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be using, for example, which is, hold on, I got, give it a minute. Um, I'll be using this one, for example. Uh, the reason why I need to do this is because um, there's reasons that I have to. Okay, there's reasons why I need to do this. One is because I need to put my icons the exact same angle like like what is doing on this image so I'm gonna be doing this which is gonna be really really hard okay now I'm going through image okay now that I put my little cube here and I'm gonna be putting the ship okay now that I got two images um, we're gonna be putting the exact same angle of what he's doing so let me do some editing and now fix it Okay, now that I put my icons like in the right position, uh, you click in this image, trash cam, and boom. Now, if you guys, if you want these two images, you know, to be together, just click here, click in this little area thing, merge down, and boom, you got yourself one uh, perfect icon. Now it's a little. Now I don't like the way it's high crop because it just kind of bothers the way so we're going to have to zoom it up a little bit like this. Okay, I'm going to be doing um, a rotation for this one. You know, just click little rotation. I, I don't like the way it's angled like this but no, good idea. Put it in an angle you like the most, alright. Okay, now that I have it done, um, we're going to be changing the colors of this one. Alright, now that we have a little, oops, let me do that, a little icon here, we're going to make, okay, we're going to make the item, the little icon frame, um, change color. We're going to be clicking in here, levels, and this one is a little tricky because you have to um, find the colors of this, and I'm not really, uh, I'm not really good at uh, finding the colors, so I'll be doing. I'll try my best to find the right color. So yeah. Okay, I think I have the color of the frame, you know, perfectly. Um, I think if I do this, a little, yeah, there we go. That's it. Now we're gonna add a background for it. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna be clicking on download because I just downloaded an image right, two images right now. I'll be using this one. This is just like a normal jump dash um, background. So basically, it is geometry dash. So what do you think about it? Okay, I want to put this one back. Like you see, you know, you see how it is. So I want to change the color of this one as well. So. Let me change, let me try to change some colors. Shit, it's gonna be really difficult once I change it to purple. Okay, now that I got the right, like the right color, I guess, uh, we're gonna make this, you know, this little icons to have a really cool effect. 
So pay attention to this because it is really difficult to do this. All right. Click here. We're gonna click the little wand. So click on the little plus here. We're gonna have to click everything as what you've seen. All right. But you have to click here. I forgot to click it here. Always click here. So yeah. We're gonna be clicking here. You know, the ones that are the ones that need to be colored. So practically do this. Be sure to be careful not to touch any of the black. Okay, now that I got everything done, you know, if I click here, for example, like this, you know how everything is um, deletes, just, you know, redo it and that's it. So, we're gonna be clicking here on the little plus sign. Click layer from selection. It should look something like this yeah so we're gonna be clicking here um but it, you have to click here first so yeah select all so and we're gonna be clicking here the fx basic and we're gonna create like a metal effect if you guys want that it's gonna look awesome believe me click on bevo so yeah it will look like this and to follow my steps here click this click here click it into 40 turn it into 45 this one turn it into 20 and next you'll be clicking here on 12 yeah it looks pretty cool but you know I'm just you know because this looks really whole because of I'm you know it's a screenshot so if you guys you find like like an icon kit but without the but with, but with it but with like a screenshot thing it will look pretty fine so yeah click here not normal sorry click here then merge down that was taking a little bit but it should look like this now we're gonna create a lot of effects with this one so yeah we're gonna create like most effects on the background so if you guys want to change this one as well you know I'm gonna be clicking this one as well you know changing them to have like a like a metal effect as well so I changed it into something like this because I was too late to do the evil thing so yeah okay we're gonna be doing something really awesome so yeah I'm gonna be clicking something like this for example I just downloaded like the like Galaxy um, it's like a phone device but yeah you can use it to almost anything so what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna make it into like like in a like visible um, like a background thing so yeah so, you know download something that looks really really cool so yeah quick little question little check mark why do I keep saying question mark okay we're gonna be clicking here this little area thing we're gonna you know to make something like visible you have to click something like this it will look really really cool you know how it's like you know it it barely even see the galaxy but you know when you do that it's really awesome you know you can make it something like this but I recommend they're not doing that you know multiply it's just gonna make it you know something like that but there's some other cool things where you could do uh, with this with these type of effects overlay which looks really really awesome like that it looks really really awesome it does you know you guys want to change it you know opacity there you go but I'm gonna click in mine on line so yeah it will look really really awesome but I'm gonna be clicking mine on screen for right now I'm gonna be lowering the the, the opacity a little bit lower okay now that I got this done we're gonna be doing some really really cool effects so you know there's like you know like mist particle dust you know if you guys want to download more of these I'll have in a link in the description there's like a, a youtuber who has like a bunch of effects you know for editing so yeah let's start with this one for example Ads. oh and by the way 
if you download something that has watermarks it's not gonna work it's gonna say like a little error thing so yeah make sure to download anything that is not watermarked because it's not gonna work so yeah we're gonna be putting some really cool effects with this one for example like this one I get like I said so yeah we're gonna have to put every image like you know first and you know put it into something like this then put it into to liner dodge add so I'll be doing the rest of the other ones not not the exact same thing but you know with different um, um, little different effects for these Another thing that I forgot for, and if you don't want any of these colors, for example, you know, you can always leave it in black and white, and, and you can actually change any of the um, particular colors you want. So, I'm gonna be, for example, I don't want, you know, I wanna change it back, so I'm gonna put it into, you know, I wanna edit my own. So, yeah. Hold on. Okay, now that I got my editing done, so yeah, and you know how it looks like purple, purplish color? You got an overlay. Oh my god, not, I'm sorry. And put some, whatever effects you want. I'm gonna be putting this one. You know, it looks really cool. So yeah. If you guys wanna change the background, for example, you know how it looks light like that? So yeah, um, change the levels of it, you know, the. I want to make it this one darker a little bit darker like that okay Okay, now that I was done with my little my little particle thing, uh, we're gonna be adding some really cool effects. I'm gonna be adding one of these circle things. So yeah. Oh, I know how it appears the little black thing label, like the little black thing. So, for example, let's put this one here, for example, and leave it there. Click on here. You're gonna be clicking on liner dodge cat and this is how it should look like it should look awesome put this one here on your uh, back so yeah just put it here like that yeah there we go it's gonna look awesome so if i were you um i would actually turn them um um put them into white color you know how there's like it can be um different colors of these so I would mo recommend it, you know, again, black and white. So yeah, let me just try to put more of these. You know how it doesn't support any more images? So yeah, I can only do this because you know how it doesn't say it? You know how it says like, I have to put more, you know, I can't put any more images. I'm gonna try to put them merge down. So yeah, it's not gonna fix anything, but you know, Four images in one. Now we're gonna be we're gonna be adding a little more of these circle things. But you have to put them like like where you want to put them like you know to see them.
and this is how it should look like all right it should look something like this but there's one thing as well the text one. yeah the little font name so i'll be trying to find this one as well we're gonna try to merge um all of this in, in one so let me try to do this one really really quick And there we go. We got you know four images in, in one. This one was like five or four, I think. I forgot. Okay, now I'm going to put and find the the little font thing. You know, this one for example. And you know, so basically, I, I can't see this one properly. Why? Why is that? But don't worry. I could actually, you know, click here and put it back where where it should be should go there we go where do you think you're going? I just want to feel like in a perfect angle now you could actually change and put it into a metal effect for these so so yeah I'll be doing this one right now All right, now we have now that we have everything um, here, you know the little font and everything. We're gonna click here, everything, you know, all visible. Uh, wrong, I keep getting confused. What the hell? Okay, but I have to click on the very first beginning of the image. Merge everything down. It's gonna it's taking forever, I don't know why. There we go. And then one thing I forgot to um to do is that you know that little uh, I don't know how to pronounce this crap, so click here and you know we have like a little black um thing so don't use this one for example. Almost also use this one, you know, it's on black, so leave it like this. But if you guys want to use this one I'm gonna be using this one for example. Have it your own way guys, alright? Click and there we go. We have our own profile here. Um, I forgot to put the R here, so I'm too lazy to put the big R, so if you guys wanna do that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm really lazy to put that. So yeah. So now that we're we're done here, we're gonna be clicking here our little for arrow here. Click save. So yep, we're gonna be clicking here. Save to gallery. Click it, and then you have both options. So I recommend you this one. Okay. I. Okay. I. I did I said okay? I, I meant to say okay Jesus hell I am really stupid today well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was really hard but you know I can't believe I forgot the big giant R I forgot about that so yeah make sure to add that so so it, it will look great and yeah so if now I never done a tutorial like this yeah never so I'm pretty sure it's like my first geometry dance tutorial so if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a like and yeah tell me in the comments what you guys like to see more so yeah so that's gonna be it for this tutorial now if you guys are new make sure to click subscribe to become part of the geek squad so you cannot miss anything i upload my name is right rider that was a really horrible finger slap and i say goodbye